Yeah, that's it's extraordinary. Uh, but the, the acknowledgement. I mean, this, this is the thing you see. Um, it's it's not just mind control of the population that's been going on, uh, you know, all this time. It's mind control of those in positions of authority and influence. There is a, an organization in Britain which operates worldwide called Common Purpose, which uh, was started by Tony Blair. That's how bad it is. Uh, and um, Common Purpose, uh, if you, uh, you look at the Orwellian uh, truth behind the, the title, is Common Perception. And what's been happening, and this has gone on for decades, Jeff, and this will be happening in countries all over the world, absolutely happening in the United States. The governments have been sending those in authority, in government administration, police, even, you know, fire officers, uh, or people from throughout the, the system on training courses that are run by this common purpose and related organizations. And this has been to reframe the perceptions of those people and um, uh, organizations that have, um, have have really followed this. There's one in Britain called UK Column uh, that's done a lot of work on this over a long period of time. Um, they were uh, have been approached over the years by spouses of those who've been on these training courses uh, in these various professions uh, who've said the personality of my spouse has completely transformed since they've been on these uh, these training courses uh -huh. uh, and and one of the things that, that that it's impacted upon is the dynamic between the police and the the public where more and more you know we, we we've all seen uh, uh clips of um, fbi uh training courses where they are literally telling them that the public is the enemy uh and what they've been doing uh, generation after generation, more and more to present day, is um, through hire and fire, they've been recruiting more and more people of a certain mindset. So they've been replacing your genuine, decent uh, police officer who just wants to serve the community and replacing them with with psychopaths. Uh, and uh, uh, I was just going to say the, the exact same change word. As a result That's of that. right. No, they're, they're screening for psychopaths with an IQ of, let's say, 100. They don't, over here, they want around 100 maximum. That's it. I'm not saying all of you, ladies and gentlemen, who are listening are dumb or have IQs less than 100. That's not the point. The point is most departments generally screen for people who are controllable. They're not going to become uppity. They'll take orders. And that goes along with a, a normative IQ in their world, which is around 100, 105, something like that. That's what they want. But the psychopathic aspect of it is not talked about. But I wonder, David, there are so many police chiefs in this country, and I'll bet in the U.K., who have been flown all expenses paid to Israel to be trained by Israeli police and other security forces on how to handle the public psychologically with a knee on the neck like they do to the Palestinians, etc. You're seeing Israeli dogma now being perpetrated by many police officers. They're being trained with it. That's what you're getting. When you get people who are 100, 105 IQ, who have a psychopathic bent, which believe me, they're looking for in the entrance tests, the screening tests that they give to people who want to be cops, they are they are putting together a Stasi network, and this is not going to be fun. These people are going to be real trouble. I think you're onto it. I think you're right. One hundred one hundred percent. The um, involvement of um, Israel and the Israeli um, military stroke police. Uh, in uh, this is uh, very, very significant. Uh, and when, wh why on earth are the authorities in America? Well, we know it's a rhetorical question, but why are they sending <laughs> yeah. their own police officers and police chiefs and military people too to Israel to be trained? I mean, 
there's 330 odd million people in America. I think they can train a police officer. I think they can get round to that. Seems, um, seems to me we Israel, because somehow there is a got through with it. Way that they do it to to again transform this dynamic between right. uh, the police and the public, so the public become not that which you are there to serve but that mm-hmm. which you are there to control they become the enemy correct but well, it's exactly the same dynamic between the israeli police and and let's just say palestinians it's what they do and it's all yes, it here is. And, and you know um i have people in israel that um uh, jewish people that uh, keep me informed of what's going on there um yeah. because you know you see um, the propaganda of, uh, about Israel and, and what they do is they want to give you the impression that there is unity. <laughs> uh, there is not unity. I mean, Netanyahu is uh, being faced with massive uh, demonstrations in well, Israel. And exactly. the other point to make um, is that um, the Israelis and, of course, the, the, the Palestinians uh, alongside them have been subjected by the Israeli government to some of the most uh, um, draconian of the lockdown impositions. And, and here's uh, Netanyahu now talking about wanting to go back into lockdown. So, you know, they, they treat their own population with as much the uh, Israeli uh, government authorities, what I say is the cult behind it. Um, they um, they treat their own uh, population with as much contempt as they do the rest of the world. Uh, you nailed it. That's exactly right. And I don't know how many people have been demonstrating out in front of his 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 home in Jerusalem. Was it twenty, thirty thousand at one point? What they have? They had a lot, a lot of people. I don't know how he's still in power. It must be that the globalists want him there. Or he would have been out, I think, under any normal due process that they use to establish who their prime minister is. 